uh, we have our Honorable Minister for Space, Minister of State for Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of LVM3. So I, we would like to hear a few words from him. Over to you, sir. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Siri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team ISRO, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen, and today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities, living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. <laughs> and before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st century. Thank you and congratulations once again.